have, has anybody, how many of y'all remember Enron? Anybody remember Enron? How many of y'all old enough? It's about 25 years ago. Anybody remember Enron? Do, do you know that a lot of Enron employees got wiped out because they had the majority of their retirement savings in Enron stock? And Enron was basically doing, whatever they were doing was so illegal that I think the CEO went to prison, the CFO went to prison. Like, it was that bad. And all these people lost everything. Uh, and, 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 and I think that what happened was the feeling was that, well, look, the stock has done really well all this time. I might as well keep all my money in that stock. No, no, no. When you are fortunate enough, when you've been blessed enough to have one investment that blows up and does really well, the first thought that should come to mind is how do I spread my money out so I can protect my assets? You you have to do that. You you do not want to say I'm gonna let it ride. You know, you go to Vegas and you get lucky. I'll use even a Vegas analogy, and you get lucky. You put down, you know, uh, I don't know, a hundred dollars, and that hundred turns into twenty thousand or something like that, and it's your lucky day. The worst thing in the world to do is to say, let me bet the whole twenty thousand and see if I can turn it into a hundred. You want to then go into protection mode. Just like in sports, a lot of y'all know in sports, if you, I watched the Celtics and the Mavericks play last night, the Celtics are, are just kicking the Mavericks butt. And, uh, and, and, and when the Celtics got the lead and it was a big lead, the goal at that point is not to extend the lead. The goal is to protect the lead, right? So when you get the lead in investing, your mindset must shift to protection mode. People like the Warren Buffets of the world, they're not trying to get rich. They're spending their energy trying to stay rich. So, so when you find that good opportunity, which you will, because your economic awareness is higher because we've been hanging out every morning. So you're going to see the opportunities when you see, when you can see the money, you'll eventually be the money. Eventually you will be blessed with some opportunity that's going to walk by you. And because your economic awareness is high, you will see the opportunity. You won't be poor. You won't be poor. Poor is, stands for what? What does poor stand for? Passing over opportunities repeatedly. Poor people tend to not, not have strong economic awareness, not making fun of people that are poor. I was born poor. I grew up poor. But what I'm saying, though, is that at some point uh, you have to understand that poor is also a mindset. So if I'm if all I'm doing is getting on the Internet and paying attention to everything other than my economic stability and my economic success, then I'm not going to be very good at spotting economic opportunities. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, how can I be good at something that I'm not even conscious of trying to get better at? How am I going to be good at anything if I don't practice? If you don't practice, then you'll never be good. You, you can't be good at something that you're practicing. What kind of world do, do, do you think we live in? It doesn't work that way. So, so what I'm saying is the fact that you've been practicing, and I applaud you for that, means your, your awareness is higher. When your awareness is higher, you see things other people don't see. And when you see things other people don't see, you're going to see an opportunity, grab it. It's going to turn out well for you. And then what I pray for you, what I really want you to do is once you get that opportunity, is I want you to go into protection mode to say, okay, now I got something good. Let me protect it. And it might not even be just money, right? I got I got a, an opportunity to be with my wife and, and marry her. I said, I got something good. Let me figure out how to protect it. Let me go ahead and, and lock down this asset in my life called, uh, called Dr. Alicia Watkins and let me protect that. So a lot of times when you get those wins in investing, it's not just in the form of money. Remember, most wealth is not money. Never ever forget that. Okay. All right. So anyway, that's it, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up for today. Uh, I try to keep these in 30 to 45 minute chunks. Thank you for uh, for being kind about my little skit. Again, I'm not no comedian, but sometimes it's fun to laugh about stuff. So.